All right, so this is my second video um, talking about respiratory therapy school. So I decided let's cover my journey when it comes to studying for the TMC and the clinical SIMS examination. I will not lie to you. I had to take both exams twice. When I first took the TMC, I miss it. I missed the cutoff for the clinical SAMS examination by one point. Tell me, hurt. <laughs> like, I went home, didn't want to talk to anyone, wanted to cry because I just spent $200 for this test and I missed it by one point in order to take the second portion. So I was like hammering myself. So that's when I had to kind of like look over what I studied and remember some of the information that I just, you know, got tested on, wrote all that down. As soon as I left out of the, the test and I wrote everything down and then it kind of like helped me pinpoint what could possibly be on the test for the second time. Um, but before I went in the first time to take it, the I used Persing's Respiratory Comprehension uh, Review Exam book. When I tell you that book is amazing, that book is amazing. It kind of like pinpoints everything. Uh, it breaks down the information quite well. So Persing's is worth the money. I, I even used an older edition and it still covered everything on the exam. Um, and I did take both the the old exam and the newest exam that they have out after they made that change because I took it for the second time when the newest exam was out. So person helped both times. Um, Kettering. Kettering kind of like helped pinpoint where I was having issues at because the one thing I can say about Kettering, the format for Kettering was exactly like the format for the test so if you have a question about the wording for the test or how it how everything is going to be formatted and Kettering is the, the spot to be but Kettering works for some people and Kettering doesn't work for others um, I can say when it came to the delivery of the information I didn't get much from Kettering um, Maybe it was the language, I'm not sure, but I did not get much from Kettering. Now, when it came to Lindsay Jones, Lindsay Jones dumbed that information down and something in my brain just started clicking, like click, 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 and I got it. So whatever Kettering was trying to teach me, I didn't get it through them. I got it through Lindsay Jones. And so there would be times where I'm driving in the car and, you know, Lindsay Jones give you their little CDs, their little audios. So I'm listening to the audios on the way to work, on the way away from work, going to my mama's house, going to pick up the kids. Lindsay Jones was on repeat. Anything I didn't understand, I would stop the audio, read the information, then go back to the audio, then all of a sudden start clicking, click, click, click again. So Lindsay Jones was on point. Uh, other than that, I will get tips from people on a lot of these Facebook groups. So remember, there's Facebook groups for students in the respiratory program or just just for people who are in the respiratory field. There's the respiratory break room. Then there's also the respiratory board prep group. Man, they'll give you so much good resources. And one of those good resources was this one group where this lady, Jana, she goes on there and she reviews uh, practice exams and she kind of like breaks down how to answer the question because where a lot of people go wrong, it's not about too much really. I mean, you need to know your information, but you need to know what the question is actually asking you to answer. So it could be something really simple, but we're, we're overthinking it that we end up clicking the wrong answer. So she, she taught us how to break down the question, look for keywords and things like that. 
um, I'll put her information down below because I actually found her information in the respiratory break room because a lot of people are like, hey, I've been taking this test like seven, eight times. And believe me, I've heard it and it scared the shit out of me. And I thought I was going to be one of those people, but no, everyone's different and you could be different. You might be that one person that goes in there and take that test one time and be out. Hmm. Because my ass took the test, missed the cutoff for the clinical sins by one point. So, after I took the second time, you know, I scored 18 points over. Uh, like, about time. Um, so, then it came studying for the clinical sins. I could have booked it for a week later, but I didn't. I waited for about two weeks and gave my time and gave myself some time to really really study because I liked what Jana was offering so I continued with her and listened to her breakdown of um, how to break down these scenarios and she explained what Kettering was trying to explain so Kettering again even with the clinical sims formatting is exactly the same as the actual test but with the Kettering reviews, uh, like whenever you do your practice exams, it kind of like reviews like, oh, this is why this is the correct answer. But it still just was not clicking for me. Lindsay Jones, yes, with their with their uh, clinical sims practice exam, hell of a good job because it explains in very good details why you do not choose certain things why this is the best answer you know so i got more from lindsey jones and another website um rt board review that one was excellent because they they went over so many different scenarios and it was scenarios close to being identical to what was on the test so so many different scenarios went over it and they give you a breakdown of the treatment options and they explain why this treatment option is the best why this one is not the best what it can what damage it can do to the patient and i was like oh that's why you didn't you don't pick that one you know what i mean so everything started clicking so lindsey jones rt board review and with Jana just sitting in her conference calls listening to how she broke it down and then she allows you to ask questions and if you still do not get it you can reach out to her personally and she'll be like okay where are you going wrong like what questions do you have you ask her any question you want and she will break it down for you and then it was just it helped with my understanding and so I went in there and knocked it out and now I'm in RRD but I'll put all the resources down below hopefully one of these can help you remember not everything's gonna work for everyone but figure out what works for you and go from there if you have any questions about anything then let me know I can kind of like pinpoint you in the right direction Check out some of those uh, Facebook groups that I told you about, the Respiratory Therapy Break Room, the Respiratory Therapy uh, Board Prep. Go out there and mingle with people, social network, and as people are posting about passing their exams, ask, like, what did you use? And most times, they will tell you. So if I have any resources that can help you, um just let me know because I, I do still have a lot of my a lot of my material because I still have to refer back to it even on the job. Uh you'll learn within your first year of working that you end up referring back to a lot of your study material a lot. A lot. <laughs> so I basically had to make like ebooks of all of my stuff so that I can keep it on my tablet or keep it on my phone so that whenever I'm at work and I'm stumped with something, I can go through it real quick and easy and boop. Or you can get that Oaks uh, Pocket Guide. That's pretty good too from what I heard. But let me know if I can help you. 
like I said, I made some of my stuff into ebooks. So if I could, you know, offer some of that to you, then cool. Or let me know what you use and maybe we could share it with others, you know, because we're all in this together. <sighs> Until next time, do good with respiratory.